Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker might not be a numbered entry in the series, but it's a fun game with a story that's part of the official canon. It's also a direct prequel to MGS5, and despite not ever receiving an official PC port, there's three ways you can play this game on PC using emulation. And in this video we're gonna take a look at all of them. Starting with the original PSP version running on the PPSS PP emulator. This is the PSP emulator with the largest compatibility list available. With more than a thousand games fully playable. You can find a link to it in the description. So, right off the bat, there's a major issue with this version which is the frame rate. Peace Walker on the PSP runs at a locked 20 FPS which is terrible. But fortunately, there is a 60 FPS hack available for this game and it works very well in gameplay. However, there are some issues with the hack. Firstly, while it makes the game be rendered in 60 FPS, the animations are still limited to 20 FPS without interpolation, so it looks very choppy in 3D cutscenes. Secondly, the hack breaks a few things, such as the M16 fire rate, which is much higher, and the grenade throwing mechanic. The visual indicator plays much faster and the grenade goes way further than it should. Aside from that, this version has a few graphical issues too. The UI is low resolution and the bloom effect is also very low resolution. Also, the quality of the pre-rendered cutscenes is lower than other versions. And finally, the controls on this version aren't very good. Since the PSP only had one analog stick on the left, the aiming is done using the face buttons which are digital, so even if you map the aiming to the right analog stick on a controller, the aiming doesn't feel right because it doesn't use analog values. So this option has quite a few problems, but it's still a valid way to play the game. In case you're interested in this version, I've included a few links in the description with info on setting up the 60fps hack. But let's move on to the next option. The next option is the Xbox 360 version running on Xenia. Xenia is the only Xbox emulator and despite being in development since 2013, it's still somewhat early in development. However, MGS Peace Walker is playable on it, so let's take a look at how it runs. Right off the bat, the obvious advantage of this version is the frame rate. On the Xbox 360, the game runs at 60fps without the need for hacks and without issues with the camera or animations. Other improvements include a high resolution UI, high resolution bloom effect, higher quality cutscenes, and proper analog stick controls. Not everything is perfect though, as there are a few issues with this version. The first issue is that, while Xenia does support increasing the internal resolution, it affects performance a lot, and some graphical effects might not work correctly. For example, the rain effect in this cutscene. Also, when the game drops frames, the input gets very laggy. Another issue is that cutscenes play a little faster than they should, and the audio goes out of sync after some time. No kidding, no kidding. That's my name. That's too. my name too. Kazuhira. Kazuhira. It's Japanese. It's for Japanese peace. for peace. So it's a bit hard to recommend this option at the time this video is being recorded, unfortunately. But it's an interesting emulator that seems to be getting a lot of improvements recently. Now let's take a look at the last option, which is the PS3 version running on RPCS3. If you have watched some of my other videos, you already know it. RPCS3 is the awesome PS3 emulator that gets daily updates and has a huge compatibility list. And of course, Peace Walker runs very well on it. You need a specific version of RPCS3 to play Peace Walker due to a bug related to certain missions though. You'll find a link to it in the description. But this version is great. It has all of the improvements of the Xbox 360 version on Xenia, but none of the issues and you can increase the resolution without problems. Performance is not perfect, some parts might have a few drops depending on your PC config, 
but it should be perfectly playable and definitely better than Xenia when it's using the increased internal resolution. Anyway, here are my settings for this game on our PCS3. They might not be perfect for your PC, but it should be a good place to start. So, with all things considered, I would recommend using RPCS3 to play this game on PC if you have a mid to high end gaming PC. If your PC is not that powerful though, it might be better to try the PSP version on PPSSPP. It should run better, just make sure to use the 60fps hack of course. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Check out the cargo. Notes.